Hello everyone, my name is Ray Asini. Today in my class and I will be presenting again a material about lesson plan based on 2013 curriculum. Before that, I will introduce my group members. First, Dr. Bewayala, second, Trisna Wahini, third, Fazio Biawa, fourth, me, Ray Asini, fifth, Helga Kumala, and the last, Adriana. There are five materials that we will discuss. First, the definition and purpose of the lesson plan. Second, the principle of preparing the lesson plan. Third, the components of the lesson plan. Fourth, the steps in preparing the lesson plan for the 2013 curriculum. Fifth, the example of the lesson plan format. First, definition and purpose of the lesson plan or RPC. The lesson plan or RPC is a plan that describes the procedure and organization of learning to achieve a basic competency defined in the content standard and outlined in the syllabus. The broad scope of learning plan include this one basic competency which consists of one indicator or several indicators for one or more meetings. Lesson plan or RPC is preparation must be done by the teacher before teaching. Preparation here can mean written preparations or mental preparation. The emotional situation to be built of productive learning environment, including convincing learners to want to be fully involved. Based on permanentness number 41 of 2007, Concerning standard process of primary and secondary education needs, the development of lesson plan is elaborated from the syllabus to direct student learning activities and an effort to achieve basic competence. Lesson plan or RPC are prepared for each basic competence which can be implemented in one or more meetings. The teacher designed a lesson plan for each meeting that is tailored to be lesson scheduled in the educational unit. The purpose of the lesson plan are first, simplify facilities and improve the results of the teaching and learning process. Second, provide opportunities for educators to design learning according to to the needs of students, to the ability of educators and facilities the school has. Third, by comparing a professional, systematic, and efficient learning plan, the teacher will be able to see, observe, analyze, and predict learning program as a logical and planned framework. The next material will be continued with my friend. Hello everyone, my name is Nikoma Trisna Baikmi. Now I would like to continue the second material. It is the principle of preparing the lesson plan. To avoid confusing learning activities in class, teachers are required to prepare lesson plans before starting learning in class. In an effort to formulate a good lesson plan or RPP, there are several principles that must be considered in preparing the lesson plan, which are as follows. The first one, student differences. Students have individual differences or unique. For example, each student or learner has initial abilities, intellectual level, talents, potential, interest, motivation to learn, social abilities, emotion, learning style, special needs, learning speed, cultural background, norms, values, and the environment in which their life are different. The second one, directing the active participation of students. That is, every teacher in preparing their lesson plans must hold the principle that later in their learning it will be able to make students or students become active during learning activities carried out. The third one, student centered. Learning design show the principle that activities design will make students 
the center of learning activities. This is important in order to encourage enthusiasts for learning motivation, creativity, initiative, inspiration, innovation, and independence. The fourth one is developing reading and writing culture. Learning must be designed in such a way that is able to make students or students that love a pension for reading, comprehension of various readings, and can express themselves in a various form of writing. Okay, I will continue the material about the principle of preparing the listen plan. Fifth, provide feedback and follow up. A listen plan designed by the teachers must pay attention to the principle of first providing feedback and follow up. Both positive feedback, reinforcement, enrichment, and remedial learning. Six. There is a linkage and integration between basic competencies, learning material, learning activities, competency achievement indicators, assessment, and learning resources. All the components mentioned must be unified and coherent so that in the implementation of learning in the classroom, a whole is created that will provide a quality learning experience. 7. Thematic Integrative Learning This principle can be in the form of integration across subject, across aspect of learning and cultural diversity. And the last application of ICT. In the process of preparing the lesson plan for the 2013 curriculum, it must integrate information and communication technology. This is done systematically and effectively according to the situations and conditions that the school or class has. Okay, that's all about the principle of preparing the lesson plan. The next material will be continued with my son. Hello, I'm Adriana Bombo and now I would like to continue the presentation. It is about the component of listen plan. The component of listen plan consists of 13 parts. There are number one, school identity, namely the name of the school where the teaching is carried out. Number two, identity of things. Number three, class and semester. Number four, the main ingredients. Number five, time allocation is determined in accordance with the needs for achieving basic competency and learning led by paying attention to the number of lesson available in the syllabus and basic competency that must be achieved. Number six, Core competence is a categorical description of competence in the aspect of attitudes, knowledge, and skills that students must learn for a school level, class, and subject. Number seven, basic competencies and competence achievement indicators. Basic competencies and competency achievement indicators consist of three parts. There are A. Basic competence. Basic competence is an ability that includes attitudes, knowledge, and skill related to the subject matter. B. Achievement indicators. Achievement indicators makers of the achievement of basic competencies characterized by measurable change in behavior. C. Indicators. Developed in accordance with the characteristics of students, educational units, and regional potential. Indicators are used as a basic for developing assessment tools. Number eight, learning objectives. Learning objectives are formulated based on basic competence using operational verb that can be observed and measured which include attitudes, knowledge, and skill. Okay, the next part of component of lesson plan will be explained by my friend. Thank you. Nine, learning material. 
is a description of the main material that contains relevant fact, concept, principle, and procedure and is set out in the form of point in accordance with the formulation of competency attainment indicator. 10. Learning methods are details of learning activities used by educator to create a learning atmosphere and learning process so that students achieve basic competence that are tailored to the characteristic of student. 11. Media, tools, and learning. Learning media in the form of learning process aid in the delivery subject matter. Learning aids that make it easier to provide understanding to students. Learning source can be in the form of book, print, and electronic media, natural surrounding, or other relevant learning source. 12. Step for learning. Preliminary activities. First, prepare student psychological and physical. Second, orientation, which is an effort to focus the attention of student on the material to be taught. Third, perception by giving student initial perception about the material to be taught. Fourth, motivation by providing an overview of the benefit of learning the material to be taught. Fifth, giving references can be in the form of scientific study to be studied. Cure activities. First, use of models, method, media, and source in accordance with the characteristic of student and subject. Second, using an integrated or scientific thematic approach and other learning model. Third, contain the development of attitude, knowledge, and skill that are integrated into learning. Closing activities. First, finding direct or indirect benefit from learning outcome. Second, give feedback. Third, carry out follow-up activities by giving assessment. Fourth, confirming the learning activity plan at the next meeting. Thirteen, assessment of learning. First, contain the type or assessment technique. Second, instrument. Third, newspaper, guidelines, or scoring rubric. Okay, that's all about the component of lesson plan, and step for preparation of lesson plan will be explained by my friends. Thank you. Now I want to present the step for preparation of lesson plan. The preparation of lesson plan divided into three points. The first is preliminary activities. Number one, orientation. Orientation focusing student attention on the material to be taught by showing interesting object, providing illustration, reading news in newspaper, showing an image slide, natural phenomenon, and social phenomenon. Number two, a perception. A perception provides initial perception to student about the material to learn. Number three, motivation. The teacher provide an overview of the benefits of studying the material to be studied. Number four, reference. Relating to the study of science to be studied, reference can be in the form of an explanation of the main material and explanation of the material lesson outline. Division of study group, description of mechanism for implementing as appropriate learning experience with a plan of learning step. The second point is core activities. Core activities number one using learning models, learning method, learning media, and learning resource tailored to the characteristic of student and subject. Number two, using a thematic and or thematic approach that is integrated and or scientific and or inquiry and discovery and or learning the result in problem solving, best work or project best learning is adjusted to the characteristic of the competence and education level. Number three, contain the development of attitudes, knowledge, and skills that are integrated in learning. The third point is closing activities. Number one, the whole series of learning activities and the result obtained 
the collectively get direct and indirect benefit from the learning outcomes that have been taken plan. Number two, provide feedback on the learning process and outcome. Number three, career follow-up and activities in the form of a segment, both individual and group segment. And the last is inform the lesson plan for the meeting continue. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for the time uh, given to me. And here I will explain a little about the IPP format, which is already shown in the picture. Maybe you already know what is uh, IPP is before, because it was explained earlier by my friend. So in this time, now I will only explain about the format in the IPP. In the IPP format, we have Eight, eight points listed in that format. Firstly, you can see uh, in the picture they are they are the top. There is a title, and under the title there is a kind of IPP status. The name of the educational unit that is the IPP subject, master, subject matter, and academic year. Yeah, and now I will explain this. Uh, eight point. Okay, first point. Point A. Point A is basic competency. It's a standard that is required and that must be followed by each madrasa or school. And the core competition, or the core, or the basic competency, have been conferred by the government. Based on the Ministry of Education and Culture Regulation for Basic Competence or KA, yeah, KA basic competence are defined into four, yeah, in the four. Competency one or KA one is a uh, competency about certain spiritual attitudes. For KA two or competency two is social attitude. And then uh, KA3 is uh, knowledge and the last KA4 is a skill. Okay, then uh, the point B. Point B is uh, competence uh, and indicators. That competence is the develop of this basic competence. It depends on what learning will be taught while the Indicator is the development of basic competition or KD. And then the point C, learning objectives. Okay, the learning objectives are just uh, to the basic competence and learning to be taught. For example, the learning objectives are start understand or students are able to understand the solar system. For example, like that. And then uh, point B, point D. I'm sorry, point D. Point D is a uh, learning material. Yeah, learning material. Uh, learning material, regular learning material, uh, instrument learning material, remedial learning material. So regular is usually in the core activity. Then uh, there is there is an assessment then if there is an assessment after an assessment the first student in the class is less able to understand then the enrichment is held after the enrichment is carried out they are still those who have not met the standard so the standard is to make remedials okay and then the point E is a learning method. Yeah, it is a learning method. There are many kinds of learning method. For example, speech. Yeah, feedback between a teacher and student or quiz can also be used. Again, next, uh, then the point F. Point F is the learning activity. The learning activity has three preliminary activities the core activity and the closing activity yeah. the 
preliminary preliminary activities such as, uh, for example, the teacher take the attendance of student and the core activities, the learning material to be taught, and then the closing activities can be such as yeah, getting an ending lesson, yeah, and then uh, while the F, the point F, media and teaching material or tools uh, and learning needs yeah resources or resources yeah now this can be uh, adjust to the learning being uh, carried out for example with with an LCD projector to support material being provided or uh, textbooks as a quite for yeah the material and finally the last point uh, is point G assessment process and learning outcomes it describes the techniques or ways uh, we fail to and the result of uh, study learning okay guys uh, maybe that's all the explanation for explains for the IPP format and thank you again and Maybe it can be continued by my friend. Okay. Thank you. Now I would like to explain about the example of full page versions of Lesson Plan 2013 curriculum that consists of first school identity, second subject, class or semester, third material or sub material. Fourth academic year, fifth time allocations, sixth core competencies, seventh basic competencies and competency achievement indicators, eighth learning objective, nine learning materials, tenth learning models, eleven learning media, twelfth learning resources. 13 learning steps and the last is assessments that's about the example of full page versions of lesson plan 2013 curriculum okay we'd like to continue the example of revised 2013 curriculum lesson plan in this revised lesson plan using one page version one page version of revised curriculum lesson plan consists of the first one school identity second one subject last or semester the third one material or sub material the fourth one academic year the fifth one time allocation the sixth one core components the seventh one learning objective the eight one learning activities the last one assessment from the the differences above we as teacher or educators certainly have to be able to change back the lesson plan that we have made to simply this component so that we can compile the lesson plan that we know as one page in conclusion, the lesson plan or RPP is a plan that describes the procedure and organization of learning to save a basic competency set out in the content standards and outlined in the syllabus. The broadest scope of the lesson plan includes one basic competency which consists of one indicator or several indicators for one or more meetings rpp is a preparation that must be done by the teacher before teaching preparation here can mean written preparation or mental preparation the emotional situation to be built a productive learning environment including confiding learner, learners to want to be fully involved. Okay, that's all our presentation. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe this channel.
Thanks for watching and bye-bye!